I used to run every day, lift weights. It's a life that Kate goes in center misses often. Once I got Parkinson's, it limited so much. And exercise is key to keeping you active. The 74-year-old got the diagnosis in 2019. Doctors Drew Kern and John Thompson. Over the past several years, they've been working with researchers across the globe to develop groundbreaking new technology. It's called adaptive deep brain stimulation, expanding on already existing tech, which surgically places electrodes into specific regions of the brain. In the past, doctors had to adjust it by pre-predicting optimal settings. Now it adapts in real time using the patient's brain signals. It's hopeful that this will certainly reduce the number of fluctuations, the on-off time, and give that individual that constant level uh, function that they're looking for. We watched as Kate's tremors went away in a matter of minutes today. To get Kate to be able to sit like she is right now uh, would have taken me hours to get her to look like this, which we literally just did in a matter of minutes. Uh, that's really surprising. And now this treatment is expected to change millions of lives in the fight against Parkinson's.